If I'm going to do a full bust adjustment using the slash method, I am going to slash up the fold line to the bust point, then up to the neck, and I'm going to slash over to the side seam. And this is going to allow us to add extra through those two areas. So two but not through the neck, making sure I hit the bust point. Coming from the bust point, two but not through the side seam. It doesn't have to follow the dart line, but right next to it. And then knowing that this is gonna have to travel over a bigger slope and a bust point, which means it's, I'm gonna be short on fabric. I'm also gonna make a pivot down here close to the waist. Two but not through and cut off this front point here. I'm gonna use some filler paper and I'm gonna spread the bust point right here at this bust point, the half inch, because that is what we're adjusting in a cup size, going from a B to a D. We're going to make sure that this stays <clears throat> a quarter of an inch or a half inch here and then we're going to spread a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch here to get a full half inch extension and then this piece is going to come back down on the end staying square with the front and a half inch down at the bottom so this gap here, this gap here, and the total gap here are going to be the same. Now we have a new dart. Our dart is not this wide. It needs to remain. Our new bus point is halfway between here and here. Our new dart tip is between here and here. And our dart line is here and here. So we would take our ruler and draw in new darts. Makes this dart line not relevant. Our bust line stays the same. We're going to fold this dart down at the bottom and draw a new waistline. care of our side. Get rid of some of that extra paper so I can see what it is I'm doing. Now our front should be straight still. We're just going to cut straight up that side. And that is a full bust adjustment using the slash.